About five years ago I built this bell that's connected to the internet and whenever someone would make a purchase in one of my apps it would ring. I haven't used it in a few years so I thought I would create a video about me rebuilding it and making it do something else. So my plan is, now instead of triggering when someone makes a purchase in one of my apps, I want it to trigger when someone likes one of my videos. So what I need to do is first take it apart and rebuild it. It was never worked reliably, so initially it used to work off a servo that would pull on the hammer and ring the bell. My plan is to hopefully use this little solenoid valve and use it as a new striker instead of using a motor as the hammer. And previously it was powered off uh, USB and it would get communication from Ethernet. So now what I want to do is use this. And this is a power over Ethernet adapter. So you plug in Ethernet here and then you get normal Ethernet out and then you get USB or 5 volts out. Instead of this big Arduino, I want to rebuild it and reprint it and make a smaller circuit board that uses this Ethernet card and this smaller Arduino and then hook it up to YouTube. So my first step, I need to test if the solenoid valve will work. So I'm hoping this plunger here is enough to strike the bell. Well that definitely works. So next I need to design a mount for this inside the bell. And I already have the existing 3D models from when I last designed it. So my hope is I can just get this to sit in there and then strike the inside of the bell so you can't see anything. So I've quickly printed up this adapter plate that will hopefully hold the new solenoid and attach to the base of this. Um, I've decided to go with cable ties to attach it so I've got a little bit of adjustability. Um, before I put that in I will add some heat set inserts so I can attach it to the new 3D printer base here. Okay, that works really well. I'm happy with that. I might uh, just put a little bit of hot glue in there so it doesn't slide around. So off camera I took apart this PoE adapter and shortened the cables and then I designed and printed this mount which will go as a lid for the base plate and it will mount the PoE adapter and the networking adapter on it. So I was going to mount these PCBs to the base plate with a cable tie but that's definitely not going to work so I'm just going to put a dab of hot glue in the corner just to hold them in place. So off camera I created this little circuit board very rough not great wiring but it'll work so it's got the solenoid driver Arduino and then pins to go to the Ethernet card and power so all I need to do is plug in the Ethernet to the board, plug in the power and then plug the bell in and lastly the Ethernet to power it and connect it. It should boot up. So I've written rough code on this so it acts a little web server and you create a crest to it and it'll ring the bell. And there's, now that I'm using a solenoid, there's more control over how the bell works. So I can slightly adjust the volume and how many times it rings. So what I've set it up for now is it'll ring one, two or three times depending on what you want. I can go onto my computer and do a test. That's one. Two. and three. So I still need to do a little bit more work on this. 
The next step is to, I need to redesign this enclosure to fit the new circuit board. And then la the last thing to do is all the code that connects into YouTube, pulls the likes and then makes request to this to ring the bell. So I'm gonna go away, model up a new enclosure, finish the code and when I come back, it'll all be working. So this is the code I got ChatGPT to write that connects to the YouTube API and gets the number of subscribers and the number of likes. So basically how it works, it gets the most recent 50 videos and it'll check for any new likes. And if it detects any new likes, it will send an API call to the bell and ring the bell once. It will then also check for subscribers and if there are any new subscribers, it will ring the bell twice. I also added a quiet time so it doesn't run after 8 p.m. or before 8 a.m. so the bell's not ring at all night waking me up. And all you need to do to run this is give it a YouTube API and a channel ID and then it will basically run once a minute, ring the bell if there have been any new likes or subscribers. So this also runs as a Docker container so it's really easy to set up and run or you can just run it as a normal Python script. And if you want to ring this bell, all you have to do is like any of my videos or subscribe and the bell will ring once for a like and twice for a subscribe. Uh, the only thing you have to do is make sure you like or subscribe during New Zealand daytime, otherwise it will be ignored so I don't get woken up at all hours. And if you'd like to build this yourself, I've added all the code and 3D files available for free in the video description, as well as any parts like the solenoid or the bell that you may need to buy to get this working. It ended up being a really fun little project and it's been running for about a week now. My last video blew up a lot more than I was expecting, so the bell's been going crazy, which has been really rewarding. So thanks to everyone who liked and subscribed to my last video. And if you like this video, smash that like button and ring the bell. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs>